Welcome to another episode of Reason Explained. Today, we will walk through the emulated SSL 9000K mixer in Reason 6. By the end of this video, you will understand the different components of this mixer and be able to navigate freely throughout it. At the top of each channel strip is gain control. Here, you can limit or boost your signal. You can also invert the polarity if you feel two tracks of the same performance are canceling each other out. Remember that boosting the signal will bring both the bad and good of your performance with it. Below the gain control is where you can decide the order that your signal processes. The default arrangement is the downward flow of the channel strip. Clicking the insert pre or dynamics post EQ will change the order that your signal is processed. Next is the dynamic section. This is where your onboard compression and noise gate can be found. The compressor has general settings to smooth out the dynamics of your signal. They are ratio, threshold, and release. The default setting for the threshold to be applied is a soft knee. Clicking peak will change it to a defined attack at the threshold. Choosing the fast option will make the compressor act immediately as the signal passes over the threshold value that you choose. Clicking the key button will allow you to sidechain your dynamic section and apply them to specific bands in the EQ section. Next in the dynamic section is the gate expander. Noise gating is one way to reduce constant noises like bass hums and hiss. Using the range, threshold, release, and hold parameters, you can set when the gate should open and how long it should stay open to allow your signal to pass through. After the dynamic section is EQ. This is a great way to carve out the fundamental frequencies of a given instrument. One of my favorite features of the onboard EQ is the high and low pass filters. The low pass filter will roll off all frequencies higher or to the right of where you aim the frequency knob. Likewise, the high pass filter functions in the same way, rolling off all lower frequencies to the left of the frequency knob. The EQ section is divided into four bands. The first is the high frequency. The three parameters are gain, frequency, and bell, which corresponds to your Q value or the width of your notch or boost. These parameters are identical for the low frequency as well. The mid-range is divided into two parts, the high mid-range and the low mid-range. The controls are parametric and you have greater control over your Q value. Next are the insert effects. This is where you can tie in your combinator patches and killer effects chains that you have created in the rack area. I will discuss these in greater detail in future episodes. Simply clicking the folder will take you to the factory sound bank where you can select from a number of pre-made combinator patches. You can also create your own and save them accordingly. Once an insert is selected, you can access it in the rack view. Note that the four rotary and button knobs on the combinator patch correspond to the four rotary and button knobs on the insert effects section of the channel strip. Next up are the send effects. Think of this as a way to have one effect that all your tracks can use. These effects can be dialed in on the right side of the mixer. These effects also correspond to the left side of the rack view under the master section. Next are the channel strip controls. This is where you can control the volume and pan of your tracks. A nice feature Reason has built into the mixer are the sequence and rack buttons below the fader. Clicking these will take you to that track's sequencer or rack view. Note that they also dim upon clicking.
Now that you have a basic understanding of the capabilities of the SSL 9000 mixer in Reason, let's discuss the master section. Clicking the sequencer button will take you to the master section of your sequencer track. Clicking the rack button will take you to the send effects in the rack view. Your master controls for your return effects are above the master fader. Above that are your master insert effects. Clicking the edit insert button will take you to the master section insert effects in the rack view. Above your master insert section, you can control your send effects. Last is the master compressor to tie your entire track together nicely. Check back for future videos where I will cover everything from sound design to how the backing track to this video was created. And don't forget to subscribe.